Hello, so I just did a fresh install of Windows 10 here and Windows 8.1 and I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So if you remember, uh, the Windows 8.1, when you click the start menu, this is what you get. Whereas in Windows 10, you actually get this nice uh, live tiles here and uh, the apps, just like you did in uh, Windows 7 and Windows XP. So this is a lot a uh, very familiar type of uh, menu whereas um, new to Windows 8.1 at least you get the power button here and you get the power button here also in Windows 10 um, but remember in Windows 8 you didn't even get this power button what you had to do was actually go hover over to this corner and um, wait for these and, and that you notice how awkward that was I actually had to hover over the corner and wait for this to come up and click settings and there's the power button here so in Windows 10 here you'll notice uh, all you have to do is click the uh, start menu sort of sort of as you did in Windows 7 um, and again, if, if you notice here, if I hover over this corner, nothing happens anymore. Um, so once again, if I hover over this corner and then I have to kind of navigate to the like really right hand side. So that's, that's one of the bigger differences. Um, and also wanted to show you the virtual desktop here. So I could have multiple desktops here in Windows 10. So if I click on this desktop and I open up Chrome, that desktop is different from this desktop where I opened up Explorer, uh, Windows Explorer. So once again, you'll see I have two desktops here that I could flip back and forth. I could have multiple desktops actually, even three. So if I add another one, here's a third one. So that's a big difference. Um, here in Windows 8.1 or Windows 8, you don't get anything like that. Um, Let's see, the other things is with the apps. So in Windows 8, you'll notice uh, when I bring up the apps, this isn't really a familiar kind of uh, application frame. You'll notice if I go up here, I'll, I can X out of this. Well, in Windows 10, they sort of went back to what's familiar. So if I click on the Windows app, you'll notice it's, it's already within a window. I, I could even uh, minimize, I mean, um, make it a window, minimize it, X out of it, full screen. So they brought back sort of the familiar uh, Windows feel to it, uh, where everything's in a window so you don't get confused. And this is, so if I go into the calendar, You'll notice that's the case here where it's just a it's just a window application. It's just within another window, so it's just another application, uh, just like what we're very familiar with. Uh, whereas if I go into Windows 8.1 here and I open up the um, weather application, sometimes I, I'll get lost be because I can't X out of this, and I um. Uh, I'm not familiar with it transitioning from Windows 7, you know, how to how to go back to the desktop. Uh, but if I go up here and hover over the top, I actually get a, a menu bar to actually X out of it. So um, those are the major differences. And, um, you know, if I go back here to Windows 8, um, just to show you the start menu again, because uh, we all really miss the start menu. Um, and actually a lot of us haven't even moved away from Windows 7 to begin with so um, but here you go that's really a lot of the familiar stuff um, and the main thing again is that the Windows start menu is back so again this is the Windows 10 and uh, it was just released today um, as the Windows technical preview so you could take a look at that and this is uh, Windows 8.1 so alright, uh, thank you for watching and I hope that was helpful.